<laughs> well, all right, guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Me, Evan, and um, and the Kai motherfucking Ramsey. I'm sorry. You can cut that shit out. I don't give a fuck. This nigga brought me back here to talk about some stupid shit. We're talking about the albums out. And as I've said before, I feel like it's not a, a classic. It so doesn't that, have to be a classic, but it was great. It was amazing. I still it, have to listen to that shit. He heard the album, but you know he's not done digesting it. What do you define as a classic? Give me at least three albums that you define as a classic. That's what the people need. That's what we need. As a frame of reference? As a frame of reference. Okay. What can you say is a classic? Okay. Very curious. Tipping with Butterfly is a classic. 2014 Forest Hill Drive is a classic. Mm. And honestly, Take Care is a classic album, arguably, but I would consider it. There's, there's so much great. Is that Drake coming back? Oh my god. And Drake is over. Sucking on Drake. What what French Montana say? <laughs> sipping on Drake, sipping on Drake. Drake. That's Drake is overrated. This is that, a fist though. Drake is overrated after that fact. Only reason why I feel like Take Care is Drake's best album. He'll never be able to duplicate it again because the reason why people like Drake to begin with is because he's versatile with the introspective rapping and the singing. I didn't and, like Take Care. And, and I'm take gonna care. put that out here. And to me, I take, didn't like it. Okay, but I didn't me, listen to it. Take Care exemplified that of the artist. What the artist was good at and it exemplifies it to the point of what he does, he's doing it the best of his ability and he's capturing a moment in time that is like the best representation for that. And okay. I feel like both To Pimp a Butterfly, Take Care, and 2014 Forest Hill Drives all do that for those three artists. Debatable, and very debatable. That classifies what a classic is to me. This album isn't a classic because the quality of music is not there for me. Mm, I think he might've just pissed off half the internet. I don't know, man. What As do you in, mean by music? Oh, when I say that, I'm not trying to say Kendrick Lamar can't rap and that he doesn't put messages in his songs and da 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 da. He does all that. But like I said before, sometimes he focuses too much on the message and the quality of the music goes over people's heads or it doesn't hit your ear right because you have to go back. You're like, what? I don't get it. If you read the lyrics to the song more than you actually listen to the song, that means it's not a good song. You, I appreciated the entire album. There were, I, I will admit, I'd probably say like 75% to 80% of the album. I enjoyed it, I fucked with it. 20% as eh, it's debatable, maybe I'll have to like go over it again or whatever. I mean songs that I do like on it, DNA, Element, I don't really like Feel, but it is a good song. Not my cup of tea of songs, but it's a good song, so I'm giving him all the credit for that song. Loyalty's annoying, I don't like Pride. I don't like pride. Humble's good. Love is good. The first two minutes, 30 seconds of Triple X is good. <laughs> Only the first two minutes, 30 seconds is good. And Duckworth is underrated. He made, he, 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 that was like almost some of the, that was some of the best, so, that was some of the best rapping and he made it effortless. It's and like half the time you did, you're like, what, what, those rhymes? It reminded me of like listening to Eminem Kim. It was like very okay, wonderful rap. This is, this is what I want to present to you. Making different plays and different moves in different directions instead of it just being like yo okay i'm gonna just hit him with another to pimp a butterfly and do another concept and it's gonna be great and everybody's gonna be lit nah i i feel is this like album even a concept album i feel it is i highly feel it is the What's reason the being is because it was rumored that there was two parts to it, which it, that could have happened. I mean, you know, technically... Granted, we some... keep filming these a day before. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. Give the man a chance to be creative with his music. Create I, content. He spoke about that in fear. He fears um, being, you know, losing, not being creative in his music. Exactly. And, all that. and this is the thing. He's tackling all those different it's issues and he's putting judged. everything in there. The only reason being is because... And that's what we, It's funny how he's talking about he's afraid of being judged. Here we and, are. And here we are judging the shit out of the nigga. You really just do not like this man. You're biased completely against this guy. No, I'm not. Because, yo, it's like you're bipolar towards him. You, you're bipolar. Because you're like, yo, yo, Backstreet Freezer, all oh, my life, I want money and power, respect my... Uh, nah, 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 nah. And uh, you just you went from cousin one extreme Kyle. to the other. No, like Kyle. yo, like it's a perfect example. Like um, on J Cole's 2014 Forest Hill Drives, 
my favorite songs are, you know, Get Off My Dick. Hello. Hello. Apparently. Mm -hmm. You know, those songs have a certain energy to Note them. to Self. You don't like Note to Self? No, I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying that those songs have a certain... Lisa Wiggins! <laughs> those, songs, those songs have a certain energy to them. Okay. And where you have songs same like, with Kendrick. same thing like no same no, 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 no no I was gonna say but the other songs on the same album like you know Wet Dreams or um not um O3 Adolescents uh -huh. you know those songs have a different energy a different feel different vibe no I still like those songs you like either or you like still both great aspects and what they are yeah that's what I'm saying when he tones it down he goes to a different version Kendrick Lamar has toned down songs mm -hmm. and those are still good songs the toned down songs on this album are not good songs. Kendrick put out another album. People fucks with it, obviously, because there's so much, you know, it, it's everywhere. You know, I was logged on to my Spotify. It's like, this is the first thing I see. Because it's new. Because it's new, yes, obviously. That's, but that, the way, way it was presented, to... no, the way it's presented, it's just like, hey, here it is. Fuck everything else. Anybody else could have been doing some shit. What, what, but what here's this topic. You, here's the main issue. Because what, what what labels he signed to? Um, is that Interscope Records? No, that, it's, it's TDE. Yeah. TDE is, is in what? He signed to Dr. Dre on Interscope, right? Yeah. Okay. Which is one of the biggest record labels oh, ever. He but also listen, gets listen. some of those features. And they have that power to promote the album and put it everywhere. So they put the money behind it to put it aside everywhere. Aside from that. So, no. So when people try to say that because Humble debuted it at number two, that it's an automatic hit that doesn't mean just because a lot of people heard the song so you don't the song, like the song doesn't mean that they no love but the song. you don't like the song i like this song but it's not a hit like what does this man have to do to please you so give me give me one artist that i guess i'm gonna have to say this mainstream because i can't say like you know the fucking back of the crate and shit <laughs> you Man, uh, you don't know about Darkwing Duck? <laughs> the rapper, the underground. You know Darkwing Duck. The underground phenomenon, Darkwing Duck. I see my niggas on the block. They I'm slinging that shit. His new mixtape, Beacon and Peaking? Nah, nah, I heard that bar. I heard that bar. I see my niggas on the block slinging that shit. You know what time it is? Time to get dangerous. Bars. Oof. Saved my life with that album. Oof. Someone that's mainstream. Okay, okay, okay. And that people Drake. know and not that's not Drake. <laughs> Can't be Drake. That's and give me a song Drake. that, in, um, you, in your opinion, Rodney is Drake. a hit. And, and what is a hit? Joey Badass Devastated is a hit. Okay, I feel so devastated. That's a hit. Yeah, it, it's obviously a hit because it's radio friendly. It was annoying to me. I didn't like it when it first came out, but then once I heard the album and I heard it in the context of in the, the context, album, okay. then it made me like, I like the song now. So this is what I'm saying. It was like what? I had to hear the bigger picture. Now you had to hear the bigger picture. So you get the bigger picture from Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. He gets the bigger picture from Kendrick Lamar, and he's a trash. That's basically what you're saying. No, that's, that's literally what you're saying. Trash. Because no. you, you, you. See, this is the problem with you. You cut out the fat, and you <laughs> and the, said it. Oh, uh, you know what? There's not the <laughs> man. Fuck the facts of life. The this facts is, of Kendrick right now is what no, you use. No, no. See, this is my problem with you. Good stands of Mad City. You, if I feel like just because I disagree with you, or if I don't like the album as much as you, I'm you guys think I'm saying it's trash. I'm not saying it's trash, I'm saying it's good, it's just not a classic. But there's certain songs on this album that really highlight his skills and his skill set and his improvement as a rapper, and certain styles and flows and cadences that he did on this album. Like, what he, I like what he did in Fear, I love what he did in Duckworth. Mm. There, there's some really great rapping on this album, and you, you see the improvement of him as a rapper. But when it comes to making rap music, I feel like it suffers because of those songs that just don't hit with me. Yes. And that's, this is what I was about to say. How many times you have to hear an album to know whether or not if you like it? <laughs> so you heard that that first playthrough and you were like, yo. But then again, there's the bias. There's like, the bias, though. Weird. Because it, there's tons of people <laughs> that say being... J. Cole could be wet. J. Cole J. Cole's be last album was, was garbage. I'm not being biased. I'm being objective, which is something that some people need to learn. I really feel like it's gonna be hard to even debate whether or not it's a classic right now. How many songs and, do you have to listen to to know whether or not you like it? So, you know how the album starts out, and then you know he basically gets shot and everything. I feel that the entire album, you're going through 
him in kind of like a comatose state and he's thinking all these thoughts that he has and then he's hearing right outside shit death. right before death and we don't know if he did die or if he is dead completely um, good kid mad city we had a we had a discussion i do believe that kendrick actually did kill somebody and he oh, was talking this part, about yeah this part now whether that is suggestive whether whether we have to be objective or or anything like that and look at it and examine it like and get some csi on. yeah I, listen the way the nigga was rapping about it i i think that nigga did that shit so okay. then in this album he died so is he really dead <laughs> I, this is what people be getting on my You know how much work <laughs> goes into a Kendrick Lamar album? Kendrick Lamar writes, Ross. Well, he writes all of his lyrics, he, he does all the instrumentation. All the when you go to the credits, it says Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. Kendrick, 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 Kendrick. Kendrick. Kendrick did everything. There was no collaboration at all. Drake collaborates and steals from everything. He pays homage to old school rap. Kendrick, I mean, Drake pays homage to other rappers the same way Kendrick pays homage to 90s rap with his flows and how he does, or his reiterations of certain lyrics from okay. older rap songs. But is so, that bad? But no, is that bad? I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that when people go to all these reasons to call Kendrick the GOAT, it's like, okay, he's not the only person who fucking does that. Yeah, Calm but down. Gee. And this is for you and for people on the internet, you comment down below if I edit this into the video. In the song, Lust. For people who listen to lyrics, there was a nice couple of real, not, I want to say nice, but it was a, it was a, a couple of like eight bars that he had there. It's a good I think job. in that second verse of suggesting what women should do. Now, if y'all got mad at <laughs> fucking two bars and humble. Now you're gonna this be like, like just coming at him for this. No, no, it, it wasn't there. I looked, nobody, like women, like, I love this album. Well, yeah, I'm that like, was a great shout out. I'm sorry, that was great. He the kind fact of told them what to do with their day, and it was like, just, well, okay, this is different. I felt like now, which is very funny so, because so to me, uh, that's my question. Was he tell? do you feel like he was telling women what to do? If not, then all right, well, I honestly feel that. How to if, conduct themselves. If we were if we were really looking at it like that, in a sense. If telling them to be natural is offensive. And what he said on Lust is like, if that's not offensive, then I'm done with you people. And after making the blackest album in a fucking like of, of the past 50 years, you're gonna come in the next one. I'm not black no more. <laughs> this is like Yo, bro, I honestly what, feel that he just the, why are people not getting offended? I thought what he meant by no. I, I I only thought he meant by that bar is don't identify me by my race, identify me by my religion, cause that speaks deeper to who I am as a person. And that may be. I it, what whatever the case Rad it's genius. not <laughs> Um I think overall the album for me was at least an eighty percent it was i would give it a 75 70. okay 75 70 that's not bad that's okay that's commendable i just still feel that you it's have like a huge bias against them it can't be a classic only reason why i say that is because i feel like kendrick actually wanted to experiment and play around a little more and then also be a little more introspective fuck that that's trash nigga. <laughs> <laughs> as i've said before the rapping ability increased a lot in this album. You can see that on songs like Duckworth and Feel, where you can see the improvement of his rapping skills, but yet his ability to make rap music still just isn't there with a lot of songs and moments on songs. Triple X, after two minutes, 30 seconds in, I hated it. And fucking just, I guess overall, it's just like, nah, this isn't a classic. And for you to be like, oh, we gotta give it time. How many times do you need to listen to an album to, to know if you like it or not? But people still have their moments, people still have their faults. <laughs> Do you feel that he can come back and actually of be course. able to claim a title as of greatest course. of all time one day? Of course, because everything is there. He has the the all the, the perfect skill set of rapping to do that. He just okay. needs to execute it better. This okay. wasn't it. Alright, well, hey, you know what, that, that's fair. I guess, you know, the saving grace, at least he said he has the potential to be able to do it. If anything, he has the most potential out of all of the people to do it. But, it's just not You heard bad. that? Please don't attack him. Don't <laughs> attack him, don't rip him to shreds. 
Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your thoughts of Kendrick Lamar's album. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. All of those are at Evan Coming Best. Siri, His what's a classic album? Show the people. I'm just going to edit. It's going to say more life. <laughs>